Hello everyone this is Paul and you are watching Bliss Educate Live in this today video session i would like to discuss about java packages before going to the topic do subscribe my channel like the video and press the bell icon for my notifications Coming to the introduction part of Java packages, what is a package? A package in Java is nothing but a collection or encapsulating a group of classes, sub packages, and interfaces for space management. So, a package is nothing but we are going to collect different classes, different packages, and interfaces, and we have to group them in a single unit name as a package. I hope you understood and. what is the aim of creating a package for getting a better space management we are going to create a package each package in java has its unique name and organizes its classes and interfaces into a separate namespace or different name group so when we are creating a package inside that package we have different interfaces and classes so when we are creating a package we have to provide some particular name to that particular package and when we have different classes and different interfaces in that particular package we have to provide different names for them so java provides a different namespace for the classes and the interfaces in that particular package and a different name for a package as your wish i hope you understood For example here I am creating a package named as arithmetic operations. So when I am creating arithmetic operations so I am creating a class named as addition and another class name as subtraction and and an another interface as your wish. So we are creating different classes based on the particular package name. as we are giving the package name as arithmetic operations we are going to perform different arithmetic operations in the particular class by using different classes but you may observe that the class names are different and the package name is different so java provides a separate name space for the classes and the interfaces and has a unique name for the package i hope you understood in java we have several built-in packages when we install a java software in your computer it has a number of built-in packages which are used in different programs for example java.math package so this allows us to perform different mathematical operations like square root division addition subtraction and for example java.io so it allows us to take the inputs and give the outputs to the user so we have several built in packages in java which are useful to the user and they can be called simultaneously when they are required and coming to the types of packages in java we have two different types of packages in java one is the built in package and the second one is the user defined package what is a user defined package the package we are going to create is known as a user defined package that means when a user is going to create a package that particular package is known as a user defined package and the second one is the built in package the already defined package like java.io java.lang java.awt java.math java.applet for etc are known as the built in packages the built in packages are created when we are uh, installing that particular java software in your computer now let us discuss about the built in packages or predefined packages so the particular syntax for the built in packages are import package name dot star so here dot star represents that we are going to import only that particular packages but not the other sub packages which are present in that particular package so here we have one package p1 and we have another sub package named as p2 so we are going to import only this p1 package and doesn't going to import p2 package so here dot star represents that we are only importing that p1 package and import package name dot sub package name it represents that we are importing the p1 package and p2 package and import package name sub package name and the class name so in this p1 package we have another sub package named as p2 and in this p2 package we have some particular class named as some x 
when we are going to import that particular x class we are going to represent that first parent package name and the sub package name and the class name which is present in that sub package i hope you understood when i am explaining the example you can understood it very clearly so here is the example import java.util.scanner java is the top level package so here java represents the top level package and util represents the sub package and the scanner is the class which is present in the sub package of util i hope you understood so here java is the main package and the util is the sub package of java and the scanner is the class which is present in the util package i hope you understood now let us discuss about the user defined packages so here is an example so here i am going to create a package named as paul so in this package I called a class named as xy and I have a method named as y and in that by method I have some parameters as int a and int b so here I am going to perform addition subtraction and multiplication in this package and we have the main method in which we are going to give the inputs to the method so here i am creating an object xy obj equals to new xy of so by using this object i am going to give the inputs to this particular method so here i am giving that a value as 20 and the b value as 10 now let us discuss how to create these packages the first step is compile the program that we have been typed so the first step is we are going to compile our program after the successful compilation of our program we are going to create the package so the syntax for the package is java c minus d here dot represents the the directory which we are going to create that particular package so here the directory is the video so in this video directory we are going to create another file named as paul so here we are creating a Paul package in this Paul package we have the class of this program so the XY class is saved in this Paul package okay after the creation of the package how to run that particular program so Java Paul dot XY so actually the class is present inside the Paul package so we have to run the program by using Java Paul dot XY so this xy class is present inside paul package so when we type the java paul.xy it was run successfully and gives the output if i represent here two dots means it will going to create a package in the parent directory so actually the parent directory of video is d drive so in this d drive we are going to create the package if i represent double dots here so actually we we represent a single dot so single dot represents that we are going to create only in that particular directory i hope you understood now let us discuss how this package is imported and how it is used so here i am importing paul dot xy so paul is the package and dot xy is the class name so so here i am creating a class named as imported in that class name i am going to give the main method in that main method i have the different values that i want to give to the method in xy so here in this xy class we have the method named as y so to that y method we are going to give the values so in the previous example i take the values as 20 and the 10 but here i am going to take the values as 50 and 10 how the values are getting imported so this is the actual package so the package name is paul when we are going to import that particular package we have to represent it as import paul.xy so the methods which are present in this package are get imported into this package so how this program is run so we are going to compile it by using java c minus d dot imported dot java so minus d represent that we are going to compile that particular package and the particular class name so after 
importing we are going to run it so the operations which are present in xy class those operations will be performed here in this imported class gives the successful outputs for the user i hope you understood now let us discuss the advantages of packages in java so one of the main advantages of the packages are reusability so when we are creating a package we can use that particular package anywhere at any program so for example here i am creating a package named as arithmetic operations when an arithmetic operation is required we are going to import this particular package and represent the arithmetic operations in another class okay so the main advantage of this java packages is the reusability we are writing a code again and again when developing a program so when we are writing a code again and again we get bored okay so for take off the problem of typing the code again and again we are going to import the saved packages coming to the second advantage of java packages is better organization when we are creating a java project we have hundreds of classes so to organize in a better way you will provide a suitable name for a particular package so when we are creating a hundreds of classes we are going to encapsulate some classes in a particular package and make it to organize in a proper way such that when you need it you can use it which improves the efficiency of the java program so for increasing the efficiency we have better organization when we create a package because we are going to reduce the number of classes in that particular package for example here hundreds of classes are present in a project so let us take some 10 classes in one package and some 10 classes in one package so by putting this hundreds of classes in different packages which will improve the efficiency of the java program i hope you understood name conflicts we can different two classes with the same name in different packages so to avoid name collision we can use packages so here in one package we have the name as x and in another package we have the name of the class as x so the name of the packages are different but the name of the classes are as it is I hope you understood if you have any doubts comment below and like the video and press the bell icon for my notifications